So let's get you up to speed now on the stories you need to know to start your morning. The search continues for two accused killers who escaped while being transported back to Arizona. It's been two weeks since Blaine and Susan Barksdale managed to escape custody. You probably think that they would have left the state by now, but U.S. Marshals tell us they believe the couple is still here in Arizona. The agency is offering $20,000 in rewards for information that leads to their arrests. More than 160 rabbits are now in the care of the Arizona Humane Society after being rescued from what police say were horrific conditions. The rabbits were found at a home in Gilbert a couple of weeks ago. We're told it took more than five hours to get them all out. We actually talked to the man who owned them, and he says the raid was unnecessary. I am not a hoarder. I raised rabbits to sell. It's a, it's a hobby that I started. The Gilbert police say they're waiting on the medical reports of all the rabbits before deciding if they want to press animal cruelty charges. The owner says if he's charged, he plans to fight in court. Well, more major retailers are changing their gun policies following several mass shootings this summer. Walgreens and CVS are now asking customers to no longer carry firearms in their stores. You remember earlier this week, Walmart and Kroger, which owns Fry's here in Arizona, said that they would ask shoppers to stop openly carrying firearms in their stores. Walmart also said it would discontinue sales of ammunition for handguns and some assault style rifles. And now you're up to speed. Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com or the free 12 News app.